so in this lesson we are going to take a look at the uh, button component iron button component we will take a look around look at some of the uh, attributes all right so let's go ahead and uh, start working around it so let's Ionic, oh sorry, ion button. Let's call this uh, a bar button. And then the next one will be just a button. And then we'll take a look at the difference. So, uh, by default, uh, just provide an ion button without any attribute or anything gives us an inline uh, component nice with default color set to primary so, all right let us provide a type here so ion sorry uh, button type going to pass just button and the next one will be bar button let me just take a look at the difference so with the bar button we see that there is no background color there's nothing there's no border so normally we will use the bar button uh, on the toolbar and we will use a normal button which we can just leave the button type and still get it we will use that one for other uh, buttons all right so that's it uh, we can also change the color to primary secondary tertiary success so let, let's let's see let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine we have nine colors so let's create nine components here and then pass it all the available colors and see how they would look like so I have uh, created all the nine buttons with all the colors so let's take a look at how it looks like so there we go We have some nice buttons here. We, you can see we have some new uh, colors, tertiary, medium. Yeah, and kind of like the success and the secondary look like look alike. Uh, I think. Yep. Mm. Well, uh, take a look at that later. So that's it for the color attrib attribute let's look at the disabled well, we know what disabled is it will disable the button uh, but let us just for the sake of this tutorial let's provide it uh, disabled let's see um, so let's set it to true should get something pretty nice yeah? a disabled button yeah so it's not clickable that's what the disabled button is <laughs> all right um let's take a look at the expand so the expand has two uh options uh, block and full so let's create those as well uh, let me remove uh, these ones so expand full and uh, what do we have uh, block so 
So, uh, here we go. So, if you note, the both of them are the same uh, in that they all fill the weight of the parent. They, they take up the weight of the parent. But with the full button, you have the square side. Uh, but with the block, uh, it still still have the border radius. So when you take a look at the explanation given here, uh, it says that the full weight button with rounded corners and full weight button with square corners and no border on the left or right. So take note, there is no border on the left or right with the full, but with the block, I think there is a border. I should think so. Yeah. Mm. Mm, let's see. Well, uh, let's let's go on and uh, take a look at the other attributes. Uh, we'll later take a look at the details. All right. So um, the fill. The fill attribute determines the background and the border color of the button. So by default, the buttons have a solid background unless the button is inside a toolbar and with that there is a transparent background. So there are three of them, clear, outline, solid. So by default, uh, the buttons are all solid. If it is not in a toolbar, but if it is a, in a toolbar, it is clear. Yeah. So let's change the fill here. Let's call this outline. And the fill for this will be clear. And this will be outline. And uh, well. By default, buttons are solid filled, but let's just provide it here. Alright, and uh, there we have it. So we have outline, we have clear, and we have uh, solid. Okay, um, let's go on. Uh, well, the href also contains is the is the attribute we'll provide uh, if we wanted to link to a particular URL mm. uh, or maybe a particular portion of our page uh, of our app maybe another page um, so it says that if this property is set an anchor tag will rather be rendered so it will change into an anchor tag so let's let's provide it with uh, something. Let's say the href will go to the Ionic uh, GitHub page. And let's see. All right, so if we click on it, it should open up um, the GitHub page. So it's navigating there. Yeah. So that is it. Let's go back. And there we have it. All right. So we'll look at the mode. The mode here says we have iOS and MD. So depending on the uh, platform you are building on, that particular mode. We use so if you are building on to iOS, it you use iOS mode. If you are building on MD, um, that is uh, Android, it you use MD. But maybe you want everything to be iOS, you can just change the mode on it. So let's change the mode to iOS and let's see how it will look like. So that's how the iOS uh, mode is. Um, by default, uh, it's uh, 
the mode is MD so whether we provide it or not it's MD here I think yeah let's reload and uh, yeah so we see the difference the MD and then the iOS these are the two modes uh, this one also says uh, when using a router it specifies the transition direction uh, when navigating to another page using a href so uh, the direction that uh, the transition should take uh, so the router direction uh, let's see well there isn't much info on that but I will take a look at uh, that when I talk about routing into details uh, we will take uh, a detailed look at the router direction now we also have shape attributes which we can uh, pass round to so we can have a round button yeah very nice we have the size attribute where we have small default large we have strong and this one says if it's activated to true uh, the button if we set it to true it activate the button with a heavier font weight yeah and then type where we can provide a type submit reset uh, so play around it uh, pl play around the uh, attributes and uh, see how they, they, they will feel like or look alike and there are two um, events here ion blur and ion focus which are emitted during loss of focus or when it has a focus so we can provide some functionality that when the ion is blur or when the ion is focus uh, that functionality should uh, be executed so we can see that it's been written that it, the component, the button component was built using stencil JS. If you don't know what stencil JS is, take a look at it. Uh, Stencilgs.com. All right. So that's something small that we can uh, look at uh, regarding the button component. Uh, later, when it becomes stable and uh, other uh, attributes uh, and stuff are added, I will uh, update you. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and uh, leave any comment uh, or suggestion in the comment section.